Your new school website is edited through iCreate, provided by eSolutions, our website provider. You can access iCreate two different ways. One is through the page you wanted to edit. For instance, if we were going to edit a basic page, I would navigate to the page that I want to edit. And when I'm on the page I want to edit, I'm going to tap F9 twice. On a, key, on a laptop keyboard, you may need to hold the FN key in the lower left corner to trigger F9. Tapping F9 twice will prompt you to log in if you have not already signed in to iCreate. Use your regular district credentials to sign into the system. Once you're on this page, scrolling down to the text area, you can click to edit the text. Clicking in any editable content field will bring up a menu like this at the top. In here, you have basic word processing style editing tools. These include things like font styles, numbered list, bullets, alignments, indentations, block quotes, anchor links, bold, underline, italics. When you are editing text, it's important to remember to use the styles that are provided for you in the CSS. This is this drop-down list under paragraph. Using these styles will ensure that your site is accessible and readable by assistive technology like screen readers. It will also ensure that your page will render and read correctly on mobile devices and tablets. To edit text, I can click anywhere and begin editing text just as I would in a word processor. When I've added the text that I want, I can choose to style it. For instance, I could highlight this, and if this was a new section, I would click here and choose Heading 2. When I'm finished editing, I can click the Save button in my toolbar to make sure that my work saves. If you forget to click Save, iCreate will prompt you to save before leaving the text field. Once completed editing, I will click the Publish button at the top. It's the clock icon at the very top. In the Publish dialog, I'm going to select Publish immediately and then Save Changes. When you have this green bar that confirms you're published, your content is live to the public. To confirm this, you can click on the World icon to view your page on the public site. You will notice that your address returns to your regular website address. While in editing mode, you have an iCreate address that starts your URL bar. Viewing here, you'll notice that the content that I changed is changed on the site, and this is public.